Hello everyone, welcome back to your USMLE Step 1 High Yield First Aid Series and uh, today we will start with Neurology that is CNS I was supposed to start with Hematology but I received many requests regarding uh, start with Neuro because they are having lots, people are having lots of doubt regarding this chapter so let's just start with CNS I will cover most of the part of NR and physio in one video and patho in another video and pharma in third video. So as it is a very very big chapter like 100 pages in first aid so let's see how it goes and uh, yeah let's start. <laughs> Then let's start with the embryology part then an ad and then video as we will go on as it is given in first aid so the first part uh, we can see your neural development I think you can study this uh, from your embryology note not to study anything over here nothing important over here as we go down as we go down we have regionalization of neural tube and this is extremely important like they will give you all the structures name and then they will ask you from which part during the embryology this was developed so this entire diagram should be on your finger point this is very 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 important so make sure you are aware about this moving ahead we have central and peripheral nervous system that's all the general knowledge you should know before studying cns moving to the neural tube defects neural tube defects is another very very high yield and uh, in this they mostly ask the questions regarding the diagnosis part so diagnosis is given afp ACIC. so based on that you can easily identify what is going on here and just one one line is given enough so it is very easy to uh, identify so no problem over here it's very easy pretty, straight pretty straightforward it is moving down to brain malformations lysencephaly and holopresencephaly holopresencephaly is most commonly asked Lysencephaly, I haven't seen any one question, but holopresencephaly is one question. Lysencephaly, they have mentioned in UWorld about this in one question as an option, but uh, there was no question regarding lysencephaly, so uh, you can uh, just give a read about it. Moving ahead, we have posterior for some malformation. Again, important, you should know the, you know, this radiological images. You should know about this, like what is happening here, what is happening here, and based on that, you can easily make the diagnosis dandy walker is also important one question is there in dual for dandy walker moving to syringomyelia syringomyelia we will cover in uh, you know spinal cord syndrome so i am not covering it here but uh, you should know with track is involved and all that will cover in spinal cord so not to worry about it over here moving ahead we have tongue development as i told you it is again anatomy part uh, tongue development you can uh, you should know which muscles are there which nerves control which part and uh, actually tongue development is taught in head and neck part of the anatomy go there and revise your notes very important okay that's it for the embryology part let's move to the anatomy and physiology part of cns starting with the anatomy and physiology part as we can see the first one neurons astrocytes different types of cells in this cells astrocytes the functions are very important they will give you the injury and they will ask you the basis level like uh, what type of cells are injured here so your answer will be astrocyte and then they will give you the uh, list of functions that is cell function so uh, this is very important you should make here and astrocyte marker is cfap this is also very important moving ahead and all the other different types of cells are equally like you should know them like what is the function of which cell okay so this is all the general information that you will be studying myelin squan cells oligodendrocytes all the basic difference you should know okay without this you can't uh, just go and study neuroanatomy these are the basics and you should be aware about them coming to sensory receptors yes they may ask questions here you have which fibers are fast which are slow and all this they have explained beautifully in bnb they haven't explained it but they have mentioned it very properly and uh, with the help of bnb you should add on so here yeah. okay everything like you should remember the fiber you should remember the location and what are the functions so it's pretty difficult but once you look more and more you will uh, try to retain it okay moving forward again all the basics peripheral nerve what are the perineurium, epineurium, all those basics. You should be aware about all those basics over here. Moving to chromatolysis, this is one uh, high yield. 
like they have explained neuron or you can say nerve injury like what happens when the distal part of nerve is damaged your proximal part is damaged what is the chromatolysis what are the path pathological changes that occur in the chromatolysis so these three are very important valerian degeneration is very important like they will give you a case and then they say uh, now has been damaged exon proximal distal is anything they can say just remember these three points and what is valerian degeneration if you are not able to remember it this diagram is very very helpful okay moving to neurotransmitter changes with disease this is again the basic you should know like with disease have deficiency of this and yeah location of synthesis very very important very very important so many questions will be there okay moving forward moving forward meninges again what are uh, different layers of like dura matter arachnoid matter pyometer all basics okay all basic you should know all the basics blood brain barrier then you should know what substances are not allowed to cross the blood brain barrier then here you have a uh, few structures that is area postema oblt and these all are the vomiting centers like they will cover here also the vomiting center and blood brain barrier i consider high yield okay you should pay proper attention because vomiting center uh, will help you in pharmacology also and they will give you a case also and then they will ask which vomiting center is involved and what is the problem occurring why the patient vomit what is the relation of brain to the vomiting so this is important moving ahead sleep physiology sleep physiology actually it is a part of psychiatry but they have given in cns and uh, pretty difficult to remember all this but you have to remember this table is utmost important utmost important please do it like they will give you the patient is doing this he's having night terrors bed wetting or the patient is having penile something like this and they will ask you to which stage of sleep is there okay so it will be either rem non rem n1 n2 n3 all those you should be aware about all right let's move ahead coming to now the basic structures of brain like uh, hypothalamus thalamus brain stem and all those stuff okay see cns is total you know memory plus a uh, logical okay if your memory is strong in cns you just have to look at the symptoms and you will be able to know where the problem lies okay so let's start with the first hypothalamus nothing to understand here remember the nucleus remember the function and that that very high yield again pretty high yield you have to remember you can't do anything else coming to thalamus again same thing thalamus remember the nucleus remember the senses over here okay if you it's okay if you don't remember input remember the senses just remember the senses over here this two once you finish the entire cns you will understand everything but for now just nucleus and senses for thalamus but for hypothalamus both moving ahead limbic system limbic system in the bnb they have given about uh, two syndromes over here like amnesia is there okay so this three or two to three things are given extra in bnb they have given two symptoms also over here wernicke korsakoff wernicke korsakoff they have also given one or two symptoms about uh, you know uh, this what do we say hippocampus and memory memory body everything is given in bnb bnb is must okay bnb is must so again this is very important image as well very important okay refer bnb and then only study for usmle moving down dopaminergic pathways dopaminergic pathways mesocortical mesolimbic nagostriatal tuberum everything important just remember the symptoms and the name of part symptom and name of part enough moving ahead to the cerebellum part cerebellum uh, what you need to remember here is lateral lesion medial lesion okay take the help of bnb understand lateral lesion means what uh, like what will be the symptom medial lesion means what will be the symptom all this stuff please 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 refer bnb and your one small information that you need to remember and uh, this is the diagram you can refer to input pathways output pathways okay 
so i haven't found any question regarding this but uh, in 2021 and 2022 edition of first year, they have made this diagram pretty clear but in 2020 this diagram was not pretty clear okay so if they are making if they are adding things it means they can ask so you have to do it no matter and uh, what i was saying is if uh, it is not mentioned here properly you can refer your anatomy notes of your med school and uh, check out all the pathways just for uh, just go through them not needed but go through them and even the nuclei okay there are four to five type deep nuclei package fibers everything go through them moving ahead we have basal ganglia basal ganglia very very tough concept but if you understand it it becomes easier direct and indirect pathway and here on this page it's okay if you don't understand this pathway that this is the tough pathway what i was talking about it's okay if you don't understand even i didn't understand it fully okay so don't please don't judge me it's okay if you don't understand just remember just read what is given you maybe you understand it's not necessary okay but just read it and another important thing is this diagram this diagram is is, is just minded i got total of six questions from this diagram identification in the actual exam six questions who the hell gives six questions from the same diagram thalamus hypothalamus caudate nucleus this nucleus that nucleus they won't just give you identification they will give you the case you have to diagnose the condition and then they will ask where is this lesion present diagram given a b c d e f g identify the place this is how they will ask Utho, Beto, now, whatever you do, this diagram should be in your brain. Alright, moving forward. Cerebral cortex region, another very important. You should know which lobe or which part of cortex is responsible for what function. Again, you refer BNB over here, but it's okay. They have explained it, uh, like they have given all the important ones over here. But uh, when you will solve you will, it will be more clear. You, you will, will clear out your concepts more properly. Okay. So, cerebral cortex. Remember primary motor cortex, somatosensory, concept kya hai. Just remember. CNS is just remembering. You are studying brain. What is the function of brain? Memory and all the stuff. Okay. So, cerebral cortex region done nothing to like, uh, nothing is hard in CNS. CNS is very interesting. If you, study it properly if you study with interest if you just study it for the sake of exam it is the most boring thing okay so just study it for your knowledge that will help you in step 2 ck and in clinical level as well moving forward cerebral perfusion you can actually avoid here actually avoid i haven't found any one question so you can avoid it if you want give a read if you want avoid it no worries no worries homunculus pretty important and uh just simple medial regions down you should go on it will come up above. okay that's what homunculus is so just understand this diagram is enough this diagram is enough to understand moving down they have given the arterial distribution arterial distribution aca mca pca based on that uh, homunculus and arterial distribution you will be able to identify what shock is there what type of artery is causing the shock over here hypoperfusion over here okay so anatomy and physiology is sort of you know basics for pathology so just do it over here moving down we have watershed zones just remember what are the watershed zones nothing else just remember the watershed zone nothing else. okay move forward let's move forward circle of village again anything you study any body part you study at the end you should know the arterial nerve supply venous supply so here this is what the arterial supply is the diagram i don't like the diagram given over here i don't like the diagram given over here i studied arterial supply in fact i studied neuroanatomy from prior bladder rajesh kaushal app rajesh kaushal app but it doesn't mean you also have to do that okay it doesn't mean even you have to do that 
you can study from your own source study from the notes that you made during your med school okay open that note and study circle of village over there i don't like this diagram given here because it is not complete it is not clear and uh, the question that they are asking in exam is not at all related to this okay it's not at all related to this so make sure you have a proper knowledge about it moving down dural venous sinuses uh you can avoid you can avoid if you are not able to understand if you are able to understand memorize them well and good but can be avoided all right let's move ahead moving ahead we have the ventricular system ventricular system this is uh about the you know csf formation okay it's csf formation the pathway how the cns comes from uh you know what we say lateral ventricles and all those ventricles from where the csf actually comes that is what ventricular system is again they haven't explained it properly here you can use your own resource for uh, doing it or bnb bnb has also not uh, gone into detail over this but use your resources and do it okay moving down to brain stem brain stem one of the most important very 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 important and i consider it the entire neurology is based on your brain stem like most of the questions will be coming from brain stem cranial nerves and all those symptoms that are caused by the cranial nerves okay so let's move ahead we have cranial nerve nuclei we have vagal nuclei different types of nuclei different types of cranial nerves okay so all those stuff brain stem and everything is very very important now they will ask you from the skull you should also be familiar with the anatomy of skull and why you should be familiar with anatomy of skull is because in anatomy of skull you should be knowing the opening from which fossa from which opening the cranial nerves are going okay so this diagram again very 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 important anything related to cranial nerves important and it okay moving down cranial nerves and arteries this is a new diagram this wasn't there in 2020 edition so you can just go and at least you should know medial mein kaun sa hai lateral mein kaun sa hai okay don't worry bnb ka brain stem wala video the rule of fours this is very very important in order to diagnose which cranial now has caused what okay i beg you bnb dekho bnb is must 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 for cna cns is pretty complicated but once you understand it is the most easiest thing and you will get so many questions in the exam i received around 10 to 15 questions of cns in the main exam okay so cns but now moving ahead we go towards the cranial nerves i told you what cranial nerves what are the functions of cranial nerves is it sensory or is it motor or is it mixed you should know this okay so anything related to cranial nerves plus this reflex afferent and efferent reflex all these cranial nerve reflex plus afferent and efferent reflex and all these functions they don't even spell this this is also very important okay they will confuse it everything in cns is memorization so better do one thing but i what i did was the tables and the flow chart that they have given not flow chart particularly tables like this i used to take a print out of that stick on the wall whenever i wake up us pe nazar padho batho kar rahe ho kuch nazar padi the more you see to it the more you will remember it okay so let's move ahead now we have cranial nerve reflex done now we have mastication muscles mastication muscles are cranial nerve jo bhi padhenge whenever you study cranial nerve it will be involved in that spinal nerves how many spinal nerves are there just remember it nothing else moving down to the spinal cord lower extent just needle passes through if you give you know lumbar puncture you should know what layer does it passes through you should know you should be familiar with the anatomy of spinal cord where does it end in adult in children yes sir you should know it okay moving down we have spinal cord and the associated tracts this diagram and this diagram as i told you like uh, cranial nerves ka diagram as i told you aage ke bhi bahut sare jo diagram that i told you to keep that in mind very very important 
directly questions will be asked directly you should be knowing the name of tracks you should be knowing the functions and they will ask you to identify what part of spinal cord is affected here okay so i'm writing it down for you so that it becomes easier the name of tracks their functions and the location on spinal cord that is diagram all these are very very important and if you are master if you have mastered the diagram believe me you are going to ace it okay so let's move ahead this was all about the spinal cord diagram and all they have given the anatomy they have given each and every important information over here okay sometimes we might get confused key where the decussation occurs medulla ke upar medulla ke niche that is okay if you forget it because so much to remember you won't be able to remember everything okay so decussation ka bhul jao but at least at least function to aana hi chahiye what track is causing what function okay this is like it is like a mathematics cns is like a mathematics okay like uh, if you don't know the basic if you don't know the formula how you will apply it to the question okay so cns is same know the basics know the formula what is that know the nerves know the tracks know their function apply that to the clinical knowledge and know where the problem is occurring this is what cns is okay so this is what about the spinal cord clean another important thing clinical reflexes by heart by heart you should know them by heart okay by heart ye 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 jo hai dermatomes by heart by heart very difficult again print out nikalo wall pe chipkao okay let's move forward primitive reflexes haven't asked they haven't asked pediatric ka part hai if you have studied pediatric you will be good with this but it's okay if you avoid bnb has explained it kar lo why we are waiting for coming to the landmark dermatomes at least you should know c4 c6 you should know t7 and s2 jo bachcha hai sab kar lo okay dermatomes itna question nahi aayega but uh, you should be familiar with this dermatome that is the clinical reflex very very important they have asked it so many times okay let's see what is left in the anatomy and physiology i think we are done with the anatomy and physio over here i am not covering patho because patho is huge okay patho is huge so with this we finish our first part of cns anatomy and physiology and embryology i will cover patho patho is huge maybe i cover patho in two parts and pharmacology separately maybe i cover patho one patho two plus pharmacology okay so next video will be out next week regarding the pathology till this week focus on anatomy and physio anatomy physio ko strong karo cns this is i am saying in regarding cns anatomy physio ko strong karo patho mein apply karo and that's how you will master cns one more tip along with anatomy try to you know see the mri images ct images jitna zyada mri and ct images dekhoge more and more it will clear out because the question that i received on exam mostly they were diagrammatic based mostly they were mri based and ct based radiological based okay it doesn't mean that you have to study radiology as a subject no 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 okay the one thing in cns that i would suggest you is after you finish cns after you finish anatomy neuroanatomy take melman medical pdf melman medical pdf of neuroanatomy i'll write it clearly melman wait wait i'll write it down for you okay melman medical ka jo pdf hai na you should go through it neurology is also there but neuroanatomy is different do neuroanatomy do neuroanatomy mark my words it will change your life okay so i think that's it for the cns part and uh, i hope all your doubts are cleared if you have any doubt regarding any topic from where to study from where not to study ultimate source is bnb and first aid and you will so study and uh, good luck and uh, see you